I can deal with this. I expose Bradley. Oh, shit! <sighs> oh my gosh. Welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, everyone. Uh, you've got to comment below if I've made you yawn. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not sorry. I am so under the weather right now. Like, well, literally in the game because it's raining. Uh, shock horror, but also just... Yeah, I don't know. Um, after uh, after this weekend, I've just kind of felt very, uh, very blah. But um, I want to play some more Zelda, so you're just going to have to forgive me if I seem a little bit lower energy than usual. But um, today, we are going to uh, press the wrong button, and then we're probably just going to follow this road. We've got a shrine marked uh, just to the left there, and then, yeah, we're just going to kind of head along this road into, uh, well, possibly the Elden region. Uh, we do have a few quests there. Obviously, I would like to get over to the Traveler Medallion quest, which is around here, I think. So we got a, we got a fair ways to go, but um, we'll kind of just see what we see on the way there. And as far as any quests go, I actually don't remember if I was particularly going to do any others. We've got, obviously, Impa stuff. Um, Crisis at Hyrule Castle, that's all the main story. What about our side adventures? Yeah, so Travel Medallion, that's kind of where we're uh, hoping to end up eventually. Um, potential Princess Sightings. Yeah, we do want to find the Woodland Stables, don't we? Uh, which hopefully should be fairly close, or at least on the way. Um, there's just there's just so much to do. There's just so much to freaking do. It's unreal. But uh, but yes, more Zelda. I have missed this game. I uh, had some family stuff to attend to over the weekend, so I haven't had a chance to play anything really. And uh, it's always always nice to get back after you know dealing with real life stuff. Although it's also nice to have a little bit of a break as well. You know, you can't... You can have too much of a good thing. So, we're gonna head over this bridge. Boneyard Bridge, okay. Um, not sure why it's called Boneyard Bridge exactly. But we will just follow this road. Hopefully, well, probably avoid any encounters on the way, if I can help it. Although we have a little bit more health now, uh, which is good. And I will definitely pick up some more fire fruit because I like me some fire. In fact, there's a lot of it growing around here. Okay. Um. Ooh, you know what? I am kind of tempted to fight these guys actually, but they haven't seen me, so I'm just gonna leave them be. Just gonna leave them be. Oh. Oh God. Now again, are you gonna be one of the Yiga clan? My clothes will be ruined. Yeah, it's pissing it down. Yeah. Uh, hope your travels are treating you well. Mishi, I take it if you've struck up a conversation with a fashion-forward type like me all the way out here, you must be also searching for pieces of Misko's treasure? Uh, well, uh, what's that? Oh, you don't know? There was once a legendary bandit the name of Misko, but thievery isn't what made them a legend. It was their unparalleled fashion sense. Alright. It said that Misko collected rare outfits from all over the world and hid their pieces throughout Hyrule. It may only be a story, but who could resist the call of garments like that? For fashion lovers like me, Misko's treasure is the ultimate score. That's why we're out in force trying to find it. Ah. So, fate and fashion must have brought the two of us together, right here. Uh, shall I tell you where pieces of Misko's treasure are said to be hidden? Now again, why would you do that? Surely you want it for yourself, right? Um, tell me. <laughs> I thought that might strike your fashionable fancy. Now, do you have a map? I do. Also, please just ignore the the, the skeleton arm that's moving uh... on my back. I know that would be quite unsettling. Uh, here's what I heard. Oh. Piece of a fairly wild outfit from Misko's collection said to fill the wearer with power is around here. Oh, that's so close as well. A piece of quite stylish outfit from Misko's collection said to let you climb, uh, quickly climb cliffs. Ooh. That's also not that far away. And a very snappy outfit that's uh, to keep you safe in lightning. That's actually near a shrine we've got, so... 
Ooh. <laughs> well, it didn't take long for us to find a bit of a distraction, did it? All the, these details come from my various fashion-forward friends who travel in other regions. But I'm not sure any of these treasures are quite right for me, given I don't like to battle and I don't climb cliffs. Oh, well that's actually, that explains it then. If you're attempting a difficult journey, I'm sure these styles could come in handy. Oh. That reminds me, do you know about the great fairies? I do, um, and I need to find some wandering minstrels or something. Uh. The great fairies have long existed throughout Hyrule and have been known to bless clothing. Yes, they do. But since so much ugliness came to our land, I've heard that they've withdrawn from view. Well, I think one of them was seen near the Woodland Stable in the northeast recently. Uh, what's that about, I wonder? Well, that's kind ah. of what I'm hoping to sort out soon. Um, but anyway, I'm glad I talked to you. Because, holy crap. Especially the climbing gear, that sounds very, very useful. Um... But of course, we are going to focus on getting the shrine done first. Then I think I will just head over and see what we can find here for the uh, powerful outfit. Uh, just near Crenel Hills. Oh, we've got so there's just so much to do. But you know, more armor. I, I, I was saying only recently that I haven't really got much. Uh, at this point in Breath of the Wild, I definitely was uh, more kitted out than I am now. So. Um, We'll definitely uh, prioritize that when we can. So I guess that's kind of like the maps we found giving us locations of treasure in the depths, isn't it? Because we've got one over here, which I would like to get to eventually. I'm, guess I'm guessing that might be more of the minor outfit, but um, I don't know. Anyway, shrine number one of the video. Hopefully get this done in uh, no time at all, depending on what it actually wants me to do. Some of them don't take very long at all. Some of them take forever. We will see. Um, just wondering if there's anything around here. There's a... There's a... Bit of wood just chilling there for some reason. Not quite sure why. Sapapa Shrine. I like the name of that one. Right, in we go. Oh, but yeah, I'm just... I, I don't think I've caught anything. I don't think it's a bug. I, I'm i either just wiped from the weekend's activities, which involved involved me having to be very social, which I'm not the best at. Um, or, I don't know, maybe... Maybe I'm just tired. Backtrack. I'm guessing we're going to need the recall thing for this one. In fact, I bet your bottom dollar we will. Let's have you go back that way. And there we go! Nice easy start to the shrine. Ooh. Okay, we've got a current. And some flames. And some burny stuff that's going to get us the chest at least. So, I mean, I could probably just fire fruit that anyway. Um, and I guess I'm going to have to light these torches. Right, well, again, I could definitely do this without that torch. But in the spirit of things, I'm going to do it the, uh, the way they obviously intend. So I'm going to have to reverse these rafts that are uh, making the rounds. Now, the problem is I don't actually... I don't think I have inventory space for the torch. No, I don't. Um, I could drop something temporarily, I guess. Oh, and it, but although I have, I have a ruby rod. I have so many ways I could do this. I mean, obviously, you ride down on the raft, you light your torch, and then you recall it, and you go back all the way over here. That's going to take some time, though, isn't it? That's going to take some time. You know what I'm going to do? I am just going to swim over here. Get the chest. And, uh, and jump on the raft this way. Right, where's my... Oh, there we are. There we go. Already on the fire fruit. Oh, I love that. I really do love that. What's everyone's favorite, like, fire effects in a video game? I think, I think this is right up there, and I think I, I have also mentioned, uh, San Andreas, and, uh, Far Cry 2, 
I just love that the fire would spread in those games. It didn't look the best, and definitely not by today's standards, but, um, yeah, it was pretty, pretty interesting. Pretty good. Strong construct bow. I am already full. Um, uh, I guess I can get rid of this shitty one for a slightly better one. There we go. Right. Ah, crap. I've just missed it. I've just bloody missed it. Um, all well, the saying that, I don't have a torch, so... Saying that... Oh yeah, you are quite close to the place. So you know what the game wants you to do here, right? It's pretty obvious. It's pretty obvious. You just... Jump on this, you get your torch out, you get the flame, and then... Hey, press, so... You light up the door. So... I am just gonna fire fruit it, because that's way freaking quicker. Way freaking quicker. And easier. And I've wasted that arrow. Very good, mage. Let there be flame. Let there be another flame. Awesome. I I mean I I mean I, I totally did that legit. Totally. Right, what do we need here? Oh, okay, we got a ball that needs to go in a hole. And looks like that's already activating a switch of some kind, perhaps? Not too sure. Uh, I mean, it looks like it's going to be fairly easy for me to get the ball in the hole. Oh, wait, there's two holes. <gasps> there's two. What fiendish devilry is at play here? So if I pick that up... What's that do? Ah, okay. That opens the way to the shrine, but I'm guessing it's not going to be that easy. I wonder... I wonder if we're going to have to... Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. This is going to be pretty good. Right, so that's in there. Um, so what I'm going to have to do, I think, is... Oh, don't recall it, you dick slice. That's not what I meant to do. Oh. Okay, just drop it where it is. That's fine. Right, so what we do, we pop it in the lower hole first. So, that opens that door, and then, oh wait, hang on, uh, no, they, this, wait, yeah, this should work, right? And then, oh, actually, I don't know, I don't know if that is going to work properly, um, can I recall it from all the way over here? Uh, yes, just about. Oh, well, there we go. We're through this door. It should... Oh, bollocks. Oh, bollocks. It's... Oh, it bypassed my second hole. Right, well, we know what we need to do. We know what we need to do. Right, we pop you... ...in this one first. That's fine. And we grab you, and we move you down into this one. Run through this door. I mean, yeah, we can probably do it from this side anyway. So that's fine. And... Boom! This game is so clever. Oh, he loves it. There we go. And I think that's about it. Again, simple concept. Genius execution. God, I love this game. I love this game that I'm going to be playing until the year 2027. It's basically this year's Elden Ring. I was playing Elden Ring for what seemed like the whole of last year. Um, but that's fine. I don't mind. I just worry. I just worry that people will get bored eventually. But hey, oh. Right. So. We've done the shrine. Let's just keep on following this road, I reckon. Oh, no. Hang on. 
we're gonna go check out the location of that treasure. Although, what's the bet? And it's not actually gonna be that easy to find. We do have it marked on the map, but how easy is it actually gonna be to get to? I think it's over that way? No, it's not. It's a good job I do have a map, because, uh... I lose all sense of direction. Right, let's pop a marker here. It won't let me. There we go. Alright, let's do this. And uh, for once, it's not raining, which is uh, very pleasant. Although, by the looks of the forecast, it does look like it's about to. That's alright, though. But, uh, yeah, I hope you're all doing okay. I, like I say, had, uh, my dad visit on the weekend, so I spent some time with him and my sister and my niece. So, not much gaming was done. Oh, hello, what's this? Oh, just a random branch. That looks very sus. I might just cut this down. Can I cut this down? It totally looks like something that we should cut down. There we go. I get nothing for it, but... It was worth it, because you never know. Well, yeah, I hope you all had a lovely weekend. Where am I heading? There we go. Yeah, still no uh, face cam on this one, just because I, I don't think it's as necessary. Uh, now that we've, you know... I mean, I suppose for, like, story stuff, it would be nice. But um, at the moment, I don't seem to be really doing any story things, per se, so... Oh. Oh. There's a shrine nearby. Okay, also what looks to be... a couple of very suspicious looking rocks. And... possibly something I'm gonna have to destroy? It doesn't quite look like something you'd blow up though. Also, frog. 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 Oh, cricket, sorry. Holy crap, that's a lot of keys. That is actually quite terrifying. Although, I wouldn't mind some more key eyeballs. Oh, it's a cave. It's a cave. That makes things easy, doesn't it? Well, I guess we'll see, but... Uh, let me just smash this. Oh, I've got a luminous stone. Okay. Um, I want to know what these rocks are for, though. This is a little bit weird, isn't it? I know I say that about every rock I encounter, but I... Ah, uh, it's just, just more crickets, isn't it? There we go. Right, let's check out this cave. And... Yeah, I don't have anything uh, fused to that shield, do it. In fact, my shield selection is very unfused. I haven't even got anything on my mighty Zonite shield, but I am kind of saving that for a special occasion anyway. Um, a crappy wooden shield. Guess I could fuse a rock to that or something. Yeah, why not? Discovery! Crenel Hills Cave. Here we go. So, there's probably going to be another, uh... Watch my doohickey. Uh... Bubble Frog in here somewhere. Now, the problem is, these Luminous Stones, they kind of look like Zonite, so I got all excited then, but, uh... I don't think we're going to get any. You know what else this kind of looks like? Kind of reminds me of the cave that we first encountered that ungodly abomination. And I'm a little bit concerned. Ooh, I will take some amber, though. And a hearty truffle. Frick, yes. I bet there's a shrine. I bet there's a shrine in this cave. I bet there's a shrine in this cave. Somewhere. Along with this treasure, wherever the heck it is. I just know that this is an ambush. This is a freaking ambush if ever I've seen one. There is no way... Oh, there's the bubble frog. I think we got him. Is he done? You done, sir? Yep, there we go. Thank you kindly. And I really do hope we don't get attacked by anything. I am so nervous now. I do not want to encounter that gloom freaking Hydra thing. Um... Right, well, again, according to the map... Oh, fuck! Oh, okay, no, it's just a stone talos. 
Okay. I can deal with this. I Oh, it's badly. Oh, shit! Holy fuck! Holy foxicles! Okay, you know when I said I could deal with this? I, uh, I lied. I straight up lied to you. Uh, this is not good. Fact. At least, at least I did a bunch of cooking lately. Uh. Holy shit. That was not good, my friends. That was not good. Let's eat some more apples as well, or something. Because he took me down to, like, no health at all. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't mind killing this guy if I can manage it. I wonder if ice fruit will do anything to him. Not, not a, not a, nothing. Absolutely jack diddly dick. I mean, obviously, we need to shoot his, uh, his weak point, which is the ore on his back. Oh, bomb fruit. Bomb flower, whatever. Oh, but he's covering his... Oh, these things are annoying. Ooh. At least we've got some natural cover. Completely missed there. Great. I need to get on top of him, really. And we could try and do the trick where we ascend up through him, but again, that's really risky. There we go, and there's my bow gone. Let's get... Drag that one out. Right, let's get up there and... Oh, do some damage. In fact, I'm hitting him with a stone tower's heart, so... It's quite, uh, quite ironic. I knew that was coming. Right. Uh, this is where we panic. This is where we panic and press wrong buttons. Now, I'm trying not to use uh, too many of my uh, key swings here, but it does make it a little bit easier, doesn't it? What am I doing? Wrong thing. There we go. I've only got six of them left. That is... Oh, wait. No, it's not the key swings. It's the eyeballs, isn't it? And it missed anyway. Shit. Okay. Well, thank you, fairy. Thank you, fairy. Yep. I'm glad I picked up more of those. Right, uh, need to do some more healing. Let's grab a seafood rice ball. And I'm almost tempted next time to use up one of my defense items, because he hits very, very hard. Oh, you dick. Right, let's get, let's get behind him. Let's get behind him. There are probably many better ways to fight this man, but that's what I'm going for. Right, there we go. Hit him. Oh, my stone talus hammer. It's okay. We're about to replace it anyway. Get off him before he loses his mind. There we go. Uh, let's equip the uh, Black Boko Reaper, I guess, next time. Okay, right, we want Ah, oh, dude, I knew he was about to throw that, and I was like, right, we better get behind that rock. I did not do it in time. Good job, I have plenty of food on me. Right, let's let's have the, some defense. Let's have some defense. Yeah, remind me to do some more cooking, chaps, next time I get a chance. Like I'm always asking you to do that. Oh, what a shot! What a bloody shot that was. I'm not gonna get it this one, am I? Oh, we did, dude! Dude! Alright, give me all of your shit, sir. Give me all of your shit. Opal, stone, topaz, opal, amber. And, ooh, a fancy-looking stone, Talos Heart. I need something diffused to that, really. Um, something... Oh, gosh, all of these are already fused. 
Uh, saying that, I do have two arms together. I could break one of those off. Yeah, I could do. I could do. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Let's uh, destroy a fused material. And luminous stone talus heart. Alright. There we go. 41 attack. And it's all glowy. I like that. Alright, anyway, back to the matter at hand. I'm trying to find this bloody treasure and the shrine that's apparently nearby. Well, God knows. It could, it could be anywhere, couldn't it? Maybe I need to destroy these? What do you reckon? Do I need to destroy these? I'm gonna get these bomb flowers, though. I want as many of those as I can possibly find. They're so goddamn useful, and in fact, the fact that they're giving me these here makes me think that they want me to use them here. Ooh, an amber and a sapphire. Very nice. Yeah, the fact that there's bomb flowers in here makes me think... Maybe I need to blow some stuff up. Perhaps. Um, is this where I came from? That is where I came from, isn't it? Uh, right, let's get rid of this one. sure if this is actually what it's going to want me to do. Oh! Oh yeah, I'm going to set myself on fire. Uh, right, well there's nothing behind that one. Hmm. Maybe I'm just in a wrong... Maybe the shrine's up above on the surface. But there's supposed to be a treasure god, like, down here, god damn it. Okay. Oh, there we go! There we go. <laughs> sneaky game. Bloody sneaky game, this Zelda, you know. And there it is. There's the treasure and some more bomb flowers. Bloody brilliant. That's what I like to see. Oh, and a random rupee under the under the rock, okay. I do need money. I do need money. Uh no more bomb flowers. Getting some jewels though, which we could sell. We could sell. That is money. Right, what do we have? What what powerful armor is this? Barbarian armor. Attack up. Ooh, once favored by an ancient warlike tribe from the Farron region, this war paint bolsters your fighting spirit and raises your attack power. I like the sound of that. Uh, as far as I'm aware, isn't that new? I don't remember that in Breath of the Wild. Now, we will lose a little bit of defense, but our defense is kind of tiny at the moment anyway, so I just want to show this off. Oh, that's very cool. I mean, it does not match the rest of our outfit whatsoever, but that's pretty nifty. More attack power. Okay, well, I'm, I'm actually, I'm going to go back to the champion's leathers for now, but I can't wait to start upgrading these, and hopefully we'll be able to do that soon if I can get this bloody uh, great fairy situation sorted out. Might as well smash these. Might as well. Don't know when you'll need more luminous stones. But um, that was a nice little uh, detour, wasn't it? Now, again, don't know where the shrine is. Um, it's kind of in that direction. So, you know what I'm going to actually do? We're going to ascend up if I can. Which I can do. Bum, 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 bum. Music gets stuck in my head. Right. Apparently there's a shrine nearby. Ooh. Big old birdies around here too. And oh, someone's already heard me. Are you kidding me? Yeah, this is not an area that I intended on going, to be honest, but I wonder. Can I spot a shrine? And, oh, I wonder if it's going to be in one of these giant hollowed out trunks. I bet some stuff is going to be down. Oh, it's a lot of birds, though. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, they've seen me. They've seen me. 
Peace eyeball away! I really, really do need to kill some more keys. Because I am going through these. Like they're going out of fashion. So we might as well check out over here, since we've uh, already started murdering things. Oh, hello, mate. Oh, uh, you've got fire fruit. You know what that means. It's time to ignite that fire fruit. Or, actually, I wonder if, uh, if splash fruit would be a good idea. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> that did the trick, didn't it? Yes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Smokey the bear is going to be so pissed. Oh, dear. <laughs> Oh dear. Although that is actually giving me a nice updraft. I didn't really need, but um, I wonder if the shrine's actually up there. I wonder if it's inside this tree. I bet it is, you know. I bet I bet that's where it is. It totally is. It's totally in there, so... Let's get a little bit higher up. Um, oh, did those um, birds drop anything? Where did they die? Ooh. There are some goodies up there, actually. We might as well go and grab. Um, oh, bow cobbling guts. There we go. It's from the dead dude. Can I hear? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! I'm not. I'm not. Nope. 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 Okay, guys. Uh, what's the play here? Right, it's disappeared. No, it's not. It's actually still very much there. Um, right, we need, we need to just hide. I am not fighting that thing. There is no way, even... I mean, we've got a little bit more health now, but as you, if you've seen, we're taking so much damage, there's no freaking way. Grab these apples and fruits and things, and I'm going to get the frick out of here. Ooh, actually... Has it disappeared? Right, is that a clue as to... Does that... What is that? It looks like it's... It looks like I can interact with that, but I don't... I don't dare go down there. There is no way. Also, that's... That's the birds things that we got. Oh! Right, what I might do, and it is risky, I think I'm gonna... Oh, they leave dark clumps behind. Okay, right, I'm gonna grab this stuff. I need those wings. And eyeballs. And we are going to ascend up through here. There we go. Nice and safe. Nice and safe. No, didn't mean to pick up the barrel. And... There we go. Grab whatever this is. Oh, that thing is so scary. I bloody hate that thing. Okay, all that for some arrows. Well, I'll always take those. Right, let's see if we can get in there. I, uh, I bet there probably are some Koroks around here. There's, I mean, we're probably never the, never more than 10 feet away from a Korok with the amount that there are in this game, but um, I'll be damned if I'm going to find them all. Right, let's climb up here. And with Tulin's help, we should have no problem getting in there. In fact, we could probably just climb it. Actually, yeah. But it's cooler to, you know, glide in there, isn't it? So let's do that. Um, also, what is this? It's a weird-shaped rock. Okay. Ah! That's not the stable. Oh, I think that's the stables! That's the woodland stables! And I didn't mean to put the pin down there! Oh my god! Remove the pin. Remove the... Remove the pin. Right, that's definitely the stables. So we'll head there in a second. And there's a shrine next to the stables anyway. Okay, good, good, good. But first, there's got it. Yeah, there it is. I've seen it. I've seen it. Woo! Here we go. Ren is shrine. In fact, we have apparently just walked in here, could we? Oh, okay. Well, anyway, doesn't matter. We 
found it. Into the big gaping butthole. <laughs> oh, man. It's weird how as soon as you see something, sometimes you just can't ever unsee it. Jump the gaps. Right. Oh. Okay, that looks like... Okay, we need to get a ball over there. It looks like we're going to be launching something. And maybe need to move this out of the way. Ah! Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay. This is going to be fun. we got to build a ramp, guys. we got to build a ramp. This is going to be so cool. Let's hope this works. Because I'm pretty sure as soon as I smack this switch... There he goes, let's watch. Wee! Oh, I love shrines like this. I bloody love shrines like this. Some of my favorites. Right, what have we got here? Same thing again. And, oh, a chest over there. How am I supposed to get to that? How am I supposed to get to that? Uh, can I climb this ramp and maybe glide over there? It's probably going to be too slippy, isn't it? Oh, nope, saying that. Oh my god, Link. Have you got legs of fucking steel? Dude. That is mental. Oh my god, I can feel the burn from here. Oh look, we, we could get on top of the shrine thing if we wanted to. That was pretty nifty. Oh, it's a shame they didn't put a chest up there. That would have been good. Anyway, let's go grab this one. And I'm actually not sure how we're going to get the ball over there, because I don't see anything we could use to make a ramp. Hmm. Oh, there, no, I do see it, right. Strong Zonite shield, right. Definitely throwing away this piece of shit, although... Really, I should throw away the flame emitter shield. Because that's nearly broken anyway. Yeah, we'll drop that. I can always make a new one. Probably out of that shield I just made. Um, in fact, yeah, we could do that, couldn't we? Uh... Dun, dun. I have to do it from the bloody menu, don't I? Yep. There is it. Uh... By type, there we go. I have to go all the way to the bloody end. Wait, wasn't... Oh, I know why. I was going to say, there's usually an option to... It's because we're in a shrine. It's because we're in a goddamn shrine. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. Right. So, it looks like we've got two... So, we're going to have to prop this one up with the other one, from the looks of things. Which should be fairly easy, I would think. Just kind of plunk it there, and then flip it over. Did not mean to do that. Like that should work, right? If I just drop that. Yeah, there we go. That should work a treat. Let's give it a go. Godspeed. Beautiful. First try. First freaking try. Oh, go on. Go on, you know you want to. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Yes. Alright, well, that was actually a very short shrine. I hope there's more shrines that do stuff like that, because I really like that one. Well, it was very easy, all things considered. So, how many upgrades is that now? How many things have we got? I think we're 
halfway to another upgrade. Oh no, we need we need one more, which we should get if we do the shrine near the stable, so. Happy days. Yeah, we might get three freaking shrines done today. That'd be pretty nice. I'm really, I'm really excited to see what other abilities we get from the uh the other sages. Alright, so head to the pin. Hopefully not get attacked by my least favorite thing in the world. I think we should be safe up here. Oh, did I ever? Oh, I, I think I, uh, yeah, I did get an extra weapon slot, didn't I? When I was back at lookout landing, I'm pretty sure I did. Right, nice easy glide all the way down to the stables. And that's the great fairy fountain, I think. So hopefully we can get this, uh, get this fairy to uh, make an appearance. If the people we need are around here, I really do hope they are. And, uh, yep, I know there's a shrine nearby game, don't you worry, I've seen that one. And you know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kill this bird. No, I'm not, I'm gonna miss. Oh, beautiful, I just need, I need meat. I need meat. Yo, good stuff. Right, we can do some cooking while we're here as well, then. Uh, hello. Ash, hello, Ash. I take it you're also headed to Goron City? Ah. This may be an odd warning, but do try to watch out for Gorons with strange rocks. Uh, okay. Oh. The Gorons are typically so gentle and hardworking. Yeah, I freaking love Gorons. But lately, it seems the young ones have stopped working altogether, and some are even playing tricks on travelers. Oh. I met one injured traveler who told me that the Gorons in question all carried strange rocks. So if you also plan to go to the city, watch out for the Gorons of a strange... How many times are gonna... <laughs> I'm going to read that word? Um, also, there's a restaurant up this mountain path towards the city? I pointed a traveler in that direction quite some time ago, but there's been no sign of them coming back. It's hard not to imagine they've gotten into some sort of trouble. Don't really know what this all means. But it's the duty of the stable to keep its uh, guests safe, so I can't help but worry. I will go investigate. I'm sure. Is that freaking beetle? A hey, beetle. Woodland stable. There we go. Um, my wagon is just perfect. Maypin, it's finally mine, the, the towing harness of my dreams. Yeah, it's good, in it? I've only used it once, but it was pretty good. Took me a while to save up enough pony points for it. So many horses registered, so many knights at the stables. But it's all been worth it. Now that I've got this harness, I can tow to my heart's content. Um, you've been s staring for a while now, something up. You wouldn't happen to be jealous of my towing harness, would you? Nah, mate, I've got my own. I totally get it. I mean, if you had a harness of your own, you always could pull a wagon or all kinds of other stuff. Doing business from a wagon's always been a dream of mine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. Alright, Beedle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't think I'd see you here. I hate to disappoint such a big Beedle fan, but I'm not giving autographs today. Sa, sa. Um, what have you got? <laughs> Arrows. Coldana. Don't have any of those in my, uh... In fact, I don't have any of these. Ooh, hearty lizards do the same thing as uh, hearty truffles, and you can buy, well, one from him. I would do, but I just, I just don't have much money right now. Um, however, let's see if we can sell anything. Uh, got an itchy ear. Ugh, ugh. Uh, let's see. I do have a lot of jewels. Got quite a few amber. Quite a few sapphires. Um, I've got four of those, so you know what? I'll sell a sapphire. That's 150 rupees, which is pretty good. <laughs> and... Hey, I've got a lot of amber, don't I? But they only sell for ten. And they are... They, uh, they can be... Uh, I'm probably going to need some for upgrading armor. So you know what? We won't sell anything right now. 
Uh, but yeah, at least we uh, got a little bit of cash there. Cheers, Beetle. <laughs> I always look forward to your next visit, Beetle. Aww. Shimei. Oh, this is your first time here, mister. Welcome, this is the Woodland Stable. Hey, I gotta know. Are you looking for stuff that fell from the sky too? Fell from the sky? You don't know? Look up there, there's an island floating in the sky. You see it too, right? Trust me, mate. I know all about these. A big box falls down from the island. Oh. Hmm. I mean... I guess, yeah, it just looks like one of the many rocks we've seen fall from the sky. Um, a sky person's got to be dropping them. I do, yeah. I do wonder w where they all keep coming from. I assume they just fell off the island, but... Um, there is a kingdom in the sky, and I've always dreamed of going up there to play with all the sky animals. Aww. I'm still little, so I'm not allowed to go too far away. Aw, oh, you'll get there one day, pal. In fact, I could... I could funny if I could, like, build a hot air balloon and then put him in it. Also, what the fuck is that? What the shit is th Okay, I'll check the stables in a second, right? Also, what a lovely little eating area. Oh, man. That's really nice. Right, we'll go check this out. Do some cooking. I wish I had that balloon. That balloon? That doesn't look like a balloon to me. What are you talking about? How's the guy supposed to pick up a path? Uh, pick a path to Death Mountain. A trek up mountain should be a red hot adventure. If I had a balloon like the one on the other side of the pond. Oh. Red hot? Oh. Did the fiery passion of my monologue catch your ear? Well, red hot is as red hot does, my friend. Oh. A while back, Death Mountain was super active, and we're talking full force, non stop, red hot lava. But now all the lava's cooled down and hardened, it even, uh, I hate to say it, made a new road that's easy to walk. I'm actually so relieved, because I freaking hated Death Mountain in Breath of the Wild. It was such such a pain in the ass to get around. Um, yeah, sorry, dude. Now, the route going up Death Mountain from Foothill Stable to the east, on the other hand, that's an old dangerous road absolutely crawling with monsters. That's what I call Red Heart. Uh, my muscles aren't exactly ready to take on the heat now, so that makes my decision more complicated. I... Do not care. Also, Bloopy! And a well! God damn. Hi, Mr. Bloopy. Guessing there's a cave over here then. What is this? Oh, wait a minute. I wonder if. Oh, is this the monster part, dude? Is this the monster part, dude? Because if so, I think this is who I give... Oh. Wait a minute. Are you are you who I think? You, you totally... Oh my... Jesus fucking Christ. Dude. It's Kilton. He was in Breath of the Wild, I think. I vaguely remember him. Uh, you the Traveler. Do you have business in this cave by any chance? I'm sorry to say. Uh, but right now, it's... Big brother! <laughs> okay, that's just... That's straight up nightmare fuel. It's okay, I didn't need to sleep tonight anyway. It's no... It's no use! Kilton and Colton. Please, it's impossible, absurd even, to try and turn yourself into a legendary creature. A Satori, no less. Absurd. Uh, you should be working on the monster collection with me instead of chasing silly dream, like... Yeah. Oh my god. I will never give up, Kilton. I've always wanted to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I do not care what it takes. All I need to get is my fingers on a bubble gem. Uh-huh. I'm sure to turn into a Satori. Uh, yeah. And the rumors are true. There is a creature in the cave called a Bubble Frog. Well, I'm about to make your day, mate, because I've got several bubble frog gems. God, I didn't think it would be up so high on the wall or run about all nimbly bimbly like that. <laughs> nimbly bimbly. In that case, little brother, why not get someone to help you catch a bubble frog? Yeah, I'm way ahead of you guys. Way ahead of you. Remember all that treasure you collected? You could offer that in trade. 
I am very, very intrigued, sir. Hi, Colton and... Kilton. Yeah, they're definitely unique-looking chaps. Um, I did hear you, yes. To make my dream come, if I'm going to make my dream come true, I must get my finger on a bubble gem. Uh, wh what is your? I think we know what his dream is. Do you want to hear about my dream? Well, it's simple, really. A dream of becoming a Satori. You know, the creature of myth. Satori are legendary creatures that have been spotted all over Hyrule. Piercing eyes, bluish white fur. Oh, now I've how I've admired them since I was a wee Colton. And then I read these ancient texts, and they told me how to transform myself. M me, Colton, into a Satori. For it to work, I must find a bubble frog. A strange creature that loves dark caves, and glowish bluish white like a Satori. Yep. Okay. I mean, yeah, I've already got quite a few. So nimbly bimbly, I think that's going to be the name of this video. I want to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I'll do whatever it takes. I'm sorry. But that is my wish, my dream, and my reason for doing such things. So if you hold a bubble gem, please... Yep, I I have a few of them. Th 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 that's a bubble gem! Hmm. Carlton, is it the real thing? That perfect shape and the faint blue glow. It's a real bubble gem, real as can be. You did it. Now I can transform into a Satori just like the ones I adore. I'm guessing you're gonna need more than one. Uh, but I'll I'll take your Bokoblin mask. Almost charming in a cute monstrous kind of way, equip it to blend in with Bokoblins. That actually is pretty sweet. Um I collect all sorts of monstrous treasures. That is monster parts and good good uh, goods that make you look like a monster. The mask I gave you uh was made to look like a Bokoblin. Uh, yeah, I gathered that. Okay, I will try it on at some point, I'm sure. Time to gobble down the bubble gem. I'm I'm guessing this is not going to work. He did. He straight up ate that. It looked it looked like jagged and spiky. Like, would that not rip apart your uh, esophagus? Um, my body isn't changing, but but I do feel a strange sensation washing over me. That's Probably like indigestion. I don't. I don't know. Uh, it can only mean one thing. I'm on my way to becoming a Satori, and that means. Yep. Yeah, okay. No. Uh, I. I will. I will give you more. I've decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. I see. Well, it seems you've made up your mind. That being the case, you have my complete support. What a bro! Like literally, it's his bro. But like, what a bro! Hope you collect as many bubble gems as you need. Ah. Big brother, thank you, thank you! Yeah. I'm grateful for your help, but I've decided to set- yeah. Next time you get your fingers on bubble gem, I will- I will do- ah. I'll do that. Okay. Are you- oh, Okay, the hunt for bubble gems is complete, but it's not. We are definitely gonna be needed to give him more. Is he just gonna vanish now? Hmm. He's gone. Off he goes. Hope he's able to make his dream come true. Hmm. Now I have to be on my way as well. I'll be making my journey. Oh, the journey to Tarrytown. Yeah, I do want to go to Tarrytown eventually. Hmm. Uh, though I hate to impose, I do hope that during your travels you'll find time to assist him further. I will try if I come across him. Hmm. Uh, visit. Ah, okay. So if you want to know where he is, go chat to him in Tarrytown. Right. So, I mean, we could go in the cave and get the bubble gem frog, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to prioritize that right at the moment. Then again, probably won't take too long, will it? Pico Pond Cave. Ah, he's, he's literally right there. He's literally right there. Okay, not a problem. Sorry, Mr. Bubble Frog. Oh, wow, one-shotted him. Boom, there we go. And we'll get some of these, uh... Broken... Open! Oh, well, part of me hates to use this weapon. I don't, I don't want it to break before I get to you. Oh, no! It's already... No! You kidding me, dude. I mean, I know these arms are really... 
Maybe I shouldn't have fused it to this arm. Because the arms are really fragile. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I don't know. Anyway. Let's, uh... Head over to the stables. We'll probably stay the night. And... See if there's anything going on there. I want to I wanna find these bloody... Wandering band of minstrels. Because I want that great fairy to, uh... Do me some favors. Yeah, I definitely. I re, I th wasn't there a shrine here in Breath of the Wild. I seem to remember this place. I'm pretty sure there was a shrine over there, where the cave was. I'm fair. I'm like ninety-eight point seventy-nine percent certain. All right, so yeah, I'll probably do some cooking off screen, chaps. Pick up some wood. Oh my god, I love that the dog freaking rolls on his back. And got some goats. Bah. Bah. Oh, look who it is, Pen. Hi, ah. Pen. Alright, mind going through it all one more time, just to make sure I have all the details correct? What happened to that night when the great fairy hid herself away? Mm. Oh, are these the- dude, dude, these are the musicians! Uh, oh, her name's Violin. Her fucking name is Violin. Oh my god. Amazing. We saw the great fairy nearby vanish from view. It was troubling somehow. We got uh, in our wagon to go get her. Then uh, that's when it happened. Mom. Mm, uh, maestro. Uh, frightful the whole thing. That's when the woman with blonde hair jumped out in front of us. Our horse bolted away and ran off into the night. The real tragedy that involved one of the most crucial members of our troop. Oh, we're going to have to track this down, aren't we? Our beloved Breezer. Oh, maybe I just need to fix the wagon? Ah, right, okay. Mm. At least no one was hurt. But since that night, the great fairy has been hiding in her bud. She seemed afraid of something. No, no. It was that woman, I tell you. Uh, th she did something to the great fairy. She's a villain twice over. She left the scene of a tragic accident without so much as an apology. Mm. Whatever reason the Great Fairy has for hiding herself away, we thought a performance would cheer her up. Mm. But with Breezer broken down, we can't transport our small troop or our instrument here. There, mm. whatever. Uh, right, yeah, blonde-haired woman. I think we know who that was. Oh. oh, hello there, partner. I didn't know you were out this way. You have perfect timing, though. Sorry to spring this on you so suddenly, but we've got work to do. Yeah, I think I know what I need to do. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Great fairy, yada, yada, yada. One dead woman. Could she be Princess Zelda? Oh. Of course, we can't put anything to print until we're sure it's true, so we have to talk to the great fairy first. Ah, yes. Okay. Uh... Let's get your first, uh, let's give you the rundown of the Great Fairy first. Okay. Ah. Yep, big plant in the distance. I, uh, yep, I, I know, I know, I am well aware. And I am pretty sure I just need to fix the freaking cart, Pen. That's all I need to do. Oh? Yep, protective blessings on travelers. Only had a way to reach her. Don't you worry. Oh, your horse is gone too. I mean, I've got plenty of horses in the stable. I could lend you one. Serenade to a great fairy. Right, yeah, this uh, this looks like we're finally going to be able to get some armor upgrades soon, which is awesome. We do have a shrine, of course, very nearby, but I'm actually not going to get a chance to do that today because I'm about to end the video. Uh, hope you enjoyed this one, chaps. Next time, we'll do the shrine. We'll uh, hopefully fix up this wagon, get the great fairy uh, back out of her uh, hidey spot, and continue our way northeast. Thank you so much for watching. I yeah, I'm just I'm really freaking tired. I need to go lie down. Uh, thanks everyone. Bye bye for now. Take care. Ooh, I'm gonna get hit. Oh no. Oh damn it. Oh shit. Oh, I just realized he's put up freaking guards around him. What a bitch. What a bastard.